I am always finding ways and means to bring depth and interesting vibe towards the portraits I photograph in the studio. And you guys have followed me on a journey of me trying to move away from paper paper backdrops to canvas or material backdrops. I started with just one layer. I added props. And now I am layering or creating a whole room in my studio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I went about the creative process, what I did, how I lit the scene, and basically show you my inspiration to how I go about creating whatever sets I create in the studio. So I move around a lot. I try and get props whenever I can. And I'm so hell bent on this antique 1950s old vintage stuff. So I kind of buy most of the props and put them down, not knowing what I would use them for in the future. So I came across this movie, The Help. If you haven't watched it, it's a great movie. I like the set designs in there. And this particular one caught my attention. When I was watching, I screen grabbed this just to follow it up later when I would want to, you know, create a scene or cre create whatever it is I want to create in the studio. So this is the inspiration and this is what I came up with. So let's discuss. I'll show you the behind the scenes also and show you how the lighting setups worked for this scene. The first thing that caught my attention was this particular window over here, this frame you're seeing over here. I imagine creating a window in a studio, but most of the times, the things I've watched, if I want to see what I can do to create a, this particular window scene, you'd have to get plywood, you'd have to get a carpenter. It was going to cost me a lot. I then decided to use the things I had, right? So I visited home one time to go pick up some materials and I realized I had this lace lying around. So this lace is sort of sending or serving a window scene, which of course you would have to light it for it to mimic the light is coming in from a window. So this is what this particular lace is doing over here. Let's create a new layer so I can, so this lace, this lace you see over here is giving us the window scene we are seeing over here. Then the curtain, this particular curtain over here. I mean, I could have recreated the same thing, but it was going to take a lot. And I had few things to create the scene I wanted. So what I did was to use this ideology where I have this individual or whoever this actor was in my background to create depth in the image. So instead of having this curtain over this particular window, this is what I came up with. I had to use this curtain I usually use on most of my images if you've been following my, my Instagram page or even on my YouTube. I use this curtain to create that foreground to hide some imperfections behind this lace that I had to mimic the window. I'll show you in the video very soon. Then the next thing I was looking at was the lamp, the frame, and the telephone over here. So. Like I said, I keep on moving around, so you can see the lamp over here, the frame, the telephone right behind her. There are more images so you can see the telephone correctly. And because of watching a lot of these old movies, I know you can place two or three lamps in a scene and they will all make sense. I wish I had a long room lamp to mimic this instead of putting this on my Apple box and covering the apple box with the material which was also complementing the scene next thing i wanted to mimic was that old scene so i had another lease lying around i covered my antique table with this particular lease i added a few props this old fan i had and some chest i bought i think two years ago and i allowed the model bring some pearls to mimic whatever jewelry thing that's happening over here so most of the time when ladies go into their own space or their own corner they have a powder room with jewelries and all that i d i don't have this mirror and all that so this is a depiction of that so i have see this whole scene over here in front of the window so that's where all these come in so you have this in front of the window fan the jewelry box, the lamp, then the 
window which is this mimickedly seen over here then this 2d wall from my canvas backdrop is this particular wall over here this and that let's change the color so you see as i float i'm talking about so this particular wall over here to create the first canvas wall and this particular wall to create this second canvas wall so that's where the two canvas comes into play the carpets i use my old carpets i had to throw in some old travel bags and a frame to the frame the frame did sell the look of a wall for me and that's what i was going in for so the concept behind this is what i used in creating this now coming to the lighting setups i used four light for this particular shoot where one light was coming through the supposed window there's another light in a gobo coming from this particular direction which is creating the patterns on the lamp over here and because it's a hard light it's passing through the lace and has casted all these patterns onto our canvas wall or canvas backdrop and there's a split of light happening over so you can see how hard the shadow is it's because of the light coming through the gobo so i had to partition this particular list to mimic the whole idea of a window where you have light passing through a window it's creating shadows it's creating patterns also it's giving a sort of hard light source right so what i'm doing here is layered lights and i have one hard light i have one soft light and there's a key light coming in from this particular direction let's change this coming in from this particular direction given our key light source on our subject so if i zoom in you can see the catch light in her eye and there's a fill light right behind the camera bouncing off into the wall giving us also another fill so it was four lights in this particular video one hard light source one soft light giving us layered lighting between the hard light and the soft light to create that window light we are having one other hard lights was bouncing off my white wall in the studio to create or to mimic a soft light which gives that soft feel all over the image and our key light to give us this particular look so in the video you see an 85 centimeter soft was gridded to restrict the light source on our subject just so that it doesn't spread over and clearing all the patterns that were created using the hard lights and the gobo there's also another light source in our 120 centimeter photo box by photo place right behind the backdrop to mimic that soft light that comes through your window when you have a white curtain. And also the gobo giving us the patterns on our backdrop because it's passing through the lease and that soft light bouncing off our wall and giving us the feel we needed. These ambient lights also created a very good addition to sell off the look we're going for giving us the whole vibe as compared to the scene ice cream grab from the help to help portray my vision most of the images i i produced here was color graded by using my tjd color styles from capture one so link in the description check it out support the brand and thank you so much for supporting my youtube channel supporting my brand supporting my business enjoy the behind the scenes and i'll see you in the next one happy new year guys